Here, our goal is to simplify this algebraic expression. Notice that we have 5a all over 6 plus a divided by 9. And here, they want us to add these two fractions. But what we're going to do first is notice that this is 6 and this is 9. So, so that means that that. So that means that the denominators are different. So the denominators are different for these fractions. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ensure that the, that the denominators are the same first, and then we can add these two fractions. And the way that we're going to do this is that we're going to list the L, we're going to find the LCM of six and nine. What are, what are the multiples of a six? The multiples of six are six, 12, 18, 24, and the list goes on. And the multiples of nine are nine, 18, 27, and the list goes on. So the lowest common multiple of six and nine is definitely 18. And so that the LCM is of six and nine is 18. And so we ask ourselves, okay, what times six gives us 18? Well, six times three gives us 18. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. So we multiply the top by three as well. Let me ask ourselves, okay, what times nine gives us 18? The answer is two. Nine times two gives us 18. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top as well. And so we, what we have here is six times three, which gives us 18, nine times two, which gives us 18. And we have five A times three, which gives us 15 A. And we have A times two, which gives us two A. And so now we have these two fractions where both of the denominators are the same. And so now we can add these two fractions. We say 15 A plus two A. So let's put that here in the numerator and we keep the denominator of 18. We do not add the denominators, just adding the numerators. 15a plus 2a is definitely 17a. And so we have here 17a all over 18. And that's the answer to the question. And so 17a divided by 18 is our answer.